Hey everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Terra. Hope everybody's well. So, hmm, here's the thing. Time constraints. The round twos, we're going by the elements. Fire signs, you guys are up. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Resonates with you, cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it's your journey, not mine. I'm just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay too. You can check your moon rising or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that might resonate a little bit better. But keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid. All things can and maybe vice versa. Might play out from the perspective of a cross watcher, but as you guys all know, round twos don't necessarily. Either way, you guys are welcome at the table. Everybody's always welcome at my table, and I appreciate everybody stopping by to say hello. I have opened comments back up, so as long as people aren't being jerks, I'll keep them open. And thank you kindly to anyone who may have reported some jerk comments to YouTube because there's some of them that I couldn't even see. All right. Anybody can hit the like button at any time. I appreciate it. If you're new, welcome. I think we might vibe. You can hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. You want to come hang out more often. If you're returning, welcome back. It's always nice to see a familiar face. All right. We're going to pull a moonology card, kick this off, and we'll put a wisdom. We'll go over those at the end of the read. I just may have to pull one off the top. It's time to release negativity, fire signs. Alright. Hmm. Wisdom Oracle. Thinker, number 44. Some of you could be seeing double fours. Some of you could be turning 44. Four plus four is eight. Eight is the number of infinity and in forward movement. Okay. Tip down, invoke the cards. And we got plenty of room here. Heavenly Father, Mother, with Holy Spirit, Spirit Guide, Dark Angels, I ask for any message you have for my fire sign friends, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for December round two. Thanks for coming down and hanging out today. I appreciate you. I'm grateful and thankful for this gift that I've been given, and I ask that you help me use it to bring my fire sign friends to their highest possible spiritual good and put them on their highest possible spiritual path. All right. What's going on, gang? of swords. Wow. All right. We're just going to run with this. Strength. Weakness. Mm. What do you want? What's got to go? Gave me three, four. I'm just going to take four swords, put the rest back. It's coming in.
What do you got to do? Outcome. Five of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Do what is best for you. Exercise a little bit of healthy selfishness. <sighs> Release negativity. Speak truth. Your weakness here is the High Priestess reversed. That indicates to me... It could be a little bit of a wounded ego situation, but your strength is the Knave of Wands. You speak with purpose. Little knave of swords, that's you right now. Or the person you're dealing with. I feel like it's you though. We want in this knave of swords. It's a little truth speaker. You may need to tell somebody it's time to take a break. One of the name wands. Knight of Swords. You speak with purpose and you do it with a quickness and you do it with honesty. One of the high priestess reversed. One on the fool. Eight of swords. You have a wounded ego, you get anxious, you jump in and out of things too quickly. You know what causes that? Negativity. According to this, you need to release restlessness and negativity. So, okay. Right on. One of the Seven of Cups. Why the Seven of Cups for what my fire signs want? It's a card of options and choices, so... Control. You want to be able to explore other options. Probably shouldn't set my coffee cup there. Get back up there. Mm. Two cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Some of you might feel boxed in. Some of you may want to explore other options. Take control back. The lovers, some of you have a choice. Oh, some of you may have a choice between two. Hmm. Could be a Gemini involved. I also have Leo. I also have Pisces. I got a whole lot of air on this board. I got a little bit of water. So, nah. air sign, water sign, fire sign. Thing I really don't have right now is Earth. Okay. Talk to me about restlessness. What's this Four of Swords reversed for what's got to go from a fire signs? Why the Four of Swords reversed for what's got to go? Six of Swords reversed. Okay, that's a return card, so give me one more. A lot of air! Ace of Cups. Mm. Why the Ace of Cups?
six of cups. Oh man, strength reversed. Okay. <sighs> Returning to something to start over? Possibly a situation that you're currently in is draining. You want to return to something else? Return to something that was possibly or potentially draining? It's soulmate connection. Alright, what's coming in? Why the Ace of Swords reversed for what's coming in? Seven of Pentacles reversed. Yes for you, no for them. Burden. Something becoming too burdensome, no longer wanting to invest in it. Ace of Pentacles, going off starting something new. Investing elsewhere. Okay. What do you gotta do? Three cups reversed. It has something to do with third party. It has something to do with a disconnect. Three of Wands reversed. Disconnecting, walking away from the dock. King of Cups reversed. Why the King of Cups reversed? Eight of Cups, self-work, detaching from a situation emotionally to work on yourself, exercising healthy selfishness, releasing negativity, taking a break, two of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck again, um, I think you all need to disconnect from something. I see possibly something not... Not kicking off with an air sign or not kicking off because something was dishonest or there was a lack of communication, but I see something new starting. The release of a burden because you're no longer going to invest in something. You're going to start something new. So you got to disconnect from this first. This could be something more plentiful, something more bountiful. One in the sun. The sun is like happiness, togetherness, the ultimate soulmate connection. Children, family, all that happy jazz. Queen of Pentacles. She bears the pentacle. Give me one more. King of Wands reversed. Could potentially something without conflict. Something that's not necessarily sex based. Permit reversed. Mm. Why the hermit reversed? I don't always like him when he comes up in the reverse. Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, thank you. Five of Pentacles reversed, coming out of the cold. Two of Wands releasing and moving forward. And I definitely see a new start here. I see yourself initially closing yourself off to it. 
But I see you eventually releasing and moving forward toward this Ace of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles. Releasing something that doesn't serve you anymore. Moving forward toward your world. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. Fire signs, I'm super happy for you. All right. Where'd they go? There they are. Okay. Full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. If you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card is a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you're asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. This card heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card. If that's the case, take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. For some, however, this card has a totally different meaning. Your sex life can improve now if you make an effort. Use your magic. You have all you need inside you to bring about your desired results. Okay. Somebody needed it. All right. It's time to release it, guys. It's time to release. Number 44, Thinker. Strategy, being analytical and logical. Okay. The ability to reason and strategize is the focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct, for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple, and you will, will, you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Fire sign friends, my brothers and sisters. I'm a sad son. I feel you. Know that you are loved. Be blessed. If I do not get your January reading up before the first, have a safe, happy, healthy, and wonderful new year. Peace, love, and light.